Aisha Khan, counsel for Carmen Hart Company, here regarding the matter between the arbitration of Carmen Hart Company and Northwest Optics, Inc., or NOI. We are here today to discuss an issue that has arisen from the arbitration between Carmen and NOI, specifically whether or not William Prasad, NOI's appointed arbitrator, failed to disclose a potential personal financial interest in the arbitration, a past relationship to NOI's attorney Constance Ford, and a bias on the subject matter. By failing to make these disclosures initially, and since amending his disclosure, Mr. Prasad continuing as an arbitrator on this case may allow, through timely objection from Carmen, for any award to be vacated. We therefore respectfully request that NOI replace Mr. Prasad as his chosen arbitrator. The facts are as follows. Mr. Prasad has a previous relationship with Lit Funds, a third-party litigation funding company, where he has consulted on two prior cases where Lit Funds at least partially funded those cases. Mr. Prasad failed to mention this relationship to Lit Funds. Mr. Prasad is also a Barbary presenter where he previously may have established a relationship with NOI attorney Constance Ford. This he also failed to initially disclose. He has since amended his disclosure, but this does not change the fact that Carmen may still object. Finally, Mr. Prasad has written articles arguing that ethical sourcing requirements in most contracts are too vague and indefinite to be legally enforceable. One key element to arbitration is that it is a consensual process, and a key element of consent is for the parties to be well informed, which requires disclosures on the part of the parties and on the part of the arbitrators. The revised Uniform Arbitration Act of 2000, or the RUAA, sets forth provisions for default procedural elements. Specifically, Section 12 lays out the requirements of disclosure by the arbitrator. Section 12A states, uh, Section 12A1 and 2 state that an arbitrator must disclose personal financial interests in the arbitration, and also they must disclose past relationships to parties, parties' counsel, witnesses, or other arbitrators. In this instance, with the failure to disclose, and even through the amended disclosure, there are remedies provided. In Section 12B, um, an arbitrator has a continuing obligation to disclose to all parties the agreement, and uh, they must disclose anything that a reasonable person would consider likely to affect the impart impartiality of the arbitrator. Section 12C states that if an arbitrator discloses a fact required by Section A or B, a party may present a timely objection and continued service of the arbitrator based on the facts disclosed may allow under Section 23A2 for vacating an award made by the arbitrator. Before we subject this process to a formal objection of Mr. Prasad as an arbitrator on this matter, we would respectfully request that NOI dismiss Mr. Prasad and seek a suitable replacement. The alternative may be that any award stemming from this arbitration would be vacated and the process would be begin again. This would be costly to both parties and also against the interest of reaching a timely resolution. For these reasons, before we make our formal objection, we request that NOI replace Mr. Prasad with an alternative arbitrator. Thank you for your consideration in this matter.